the environment for the financial market has changed quite a bit over the last uh, 18 months. In this short video, I wanted to uh, summarize a little bit what this means for an investor. I would say the main risk in the short run is uh, the, uh, are the higher inflation rates. Uh, inflation has started to rise last year and uh, is still at very high level and uh, at very high levels, and, and that fundamentally uh, marks an important change in the general uh, economic environment, because over the last years or even decades, we had uh, a period of, of uh, relatively low inflation, and that has fundamentally uh, changed over the past, I would say, 12 to 15 months. Longer term, uh, higher inflation also means that uh, the uh, disposable incomes uh, of, of, of consumers are falling in real terms, so they have to pay more for certain items and then have less uh, money um, available for other things. And also that the costs for a lot of companies are rising and that in the medium term might lead to um, even risks of a recession or at least of an important economic slowdown. I think fundamentally the uh, environment for the investors uh, for the investor has changed. Uh, most of the people who are active in, in financial markets nowadays have never experienced a period uh, with higher inflation, with structurally rising interest rates. That might be the big change that is, uh, is happening right now. So that we'll go to a situation where interest rates, rather than falling, will uh, structurally rise. Even from time to time, they might come back a little bit, but uh, that's a structural trend in interest rates is to the upside. And that obviously has very important uh, consequences for the financial markets in general, for bonds, obviously, but also for equities, for real estate. So uh, fundamentally, a very different environment from the one that we've seen over the last years. I think the best advice would be to, 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 to invest in real assets. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, equities, for example, are real assets in the sense that uh, they, 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 there's something behind, there's, 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 there's products, there's a, there's a uh, production side, etc. So real assets, I think, uh, should be preferred to, to monetary assets such as bonds, because if interest rates continue to rise, bond prices will fall. So from that point of view, uh, bonds uh, don't look very attractive nowadays. But even for equities, uh, the main um, challenge will be to be very selective, because there will uh, be companies which uh, we will not be able to absorb their higher costs through uh, rising prices, so they will see their profit margins fall, and and uh, that might lead even uh, uh, to a, to a fall in their stock prices. But on the other hand, the other companies, those who, who um, what we sometimes call we sometimes call them the price makers, who are able to pass on uh, rising costs to their clients by raising their own prices, uh, that uh, these com these type of companies should be the winners in this type of environment. Obviously, all their stock prices will also be volatile, but structurally, I think these are the assets that someone should um, invest in.